welcome to my review of the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. I haven't done a foundation review in a really long time. My big thing is eyeshadow reviews, so this is me getting my feet wet in the foundation review department. I hope you like it. I hope I do all right. So let's go ahead and jump into the all the deal about the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. So this foundation is $55. You do get 0.75 ounces, which ends up being $73 per ounce, which to me is quite expensive when I think about, you know, ounces of foundation. Usually an ounce of foundation is what you get in a bottle, uh, but this is not a full ounce. If you want to compare this to some of the higher end foundations, the Giorgio Armani foundations are between $64 to $67 per ounce. So this is actually more expensive than those. The girl Lingerie de Peau foundation is $63 per ounce. So this is more expensive than those if you count per ounce. But because this is a serum foundation, it is supposed to last you longer than a typical foundation would. It does come in 22 shades from Ivory Light to Cocoa Deep. They do recommend for dry to normal complexions to use this with a moisturizer or their coconut face primer. What's different about this foundation is when you open it up, you unscrew the top and inside is this little dotting tool here. It reminds me of like a large dotting tool you may use for fingernails, but it's big, it's big. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to dot this onto your face and then you blend it out with a brush. They do recommend their Marc Jacobs Face Brush 3, which I don't own. I used to own the two, but I lost it. I don't know what I did with it. So I use a different brush, which you'll also see in the demo. You're supposed to apply one to two dots for a sheer to natural coverage and then three dots for a more full coverage. I did use quite a bit more than that, but let me go ahead and show you why. Let's get into the demo right now. So we're gonna test the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. This is in the shade Beige Light. Before I put that on, I'm going to put the primer on that I have that's closest to the Marc Jacobs primer. I don't own that one. This is the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. So I'm gonna put that only on half of my face. So let's go ahead and put it on my right side. That is my tester side. That is always my tester side. That way I know what is happening and I never forget which side I did what on. That's the way I apply primer. I just kind of smash it all over my face. With a pore filling primer, it is helpful to kind of press it into the skin and I can even press this a little bit, but I honestly don't see much difference when I do that, but we'll do it because I know people like to see that. Now, I also have somewhere in my arsenal the Marc Jacobs Face Brush 2, but for the life of me, I can't find it. So we're going to use the Angled Kabuki Brush by Beauty Junkies. It's the closest brush I have to it. It's not quite as dense as that brush, but it's pretty stinking close. The foundation does have a dropper here, so I'm going to put equal amounts on both sides. I'm going to go blonk, blonk, dip, blonk, blonk, dip. I'm gonna put one on the middle of the nose, bonk. And we're gonna put one on each side of the chin, bonk, bonk. Cause I wanna make sure I have the same amount so you can see the coverage. Okay, here we go. Now this is a bit yellow on me, but I am okay with that. Just kind of blend it into my neck. <laughs> It'll all work out in the end. So you can see the coverage even now, the difference between the sides that have foundation and don't have foundation, the coverage is very good. While I'm blending this, let me tell you a little bit about my skin. I do have normal skin, meaning that I have abnormal skin, meaning that I have a uh, very little bit of dryness uh, right here on my eye randomly, uh, but other than that, I do okay as far as oiliness, dry spots, things like that. I don't see, I see a little bit of freckles, um, but I don't see any redness at all. I do have a little bit of redness. I don't see any of that. You can see, I put it on my lips on purpose so you can see the coverage over top of my lips so you can see how it may cover more pinky spots or red spots on your skin. But overall, I think it looks really, really good. It definitely doesn't look like skin though. Like the, it, you can definitely tell that I'm wearing makeup but I wouldn't say that it looks cakey at all. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face and I'll be right back. But I do wanna kinda talk about how much foundation I used. I used quite a bit of foundation because I found that one to two dips into this is not enough to cover the entire face. You kind of run out as you go over the face. So I did choose to use more. I also wanted to show that full coverage-ness of it because I feel like a lot of people are looking for a really good full coverage foundation. So it's possible that for this wear test, I did apply too much foundation, but that's just what I chose to do based on my experience with this foundation so far. So let's go ahead and zoom in really, really close and I'm gonna show you how this foundation is wearing so far. So it has only been about two and a half hours since I put this foundation on, but I've been under these lights the entire time and I've, I'm a little bit sweaty. Let me be honest with you, I'm a little sweaty. So I'll show you kind of how it's wearing. The full coverage-ness is still definitely there. I do feel like it's kind of crumbling a little bit on the sides of my nose. I feel like it's doing some weird stuff on my chin and I do feel like it is accentuating my pores. Let me get up even closer so you can really see. So here is the side of my face and let me show you where it is on my nose. And then there is my chin. So you can kind of see what's going on there. I do feel like it's also creasing in my fine lines here. But again, that may be due to the amount of product I put on to try to get that full coverage look. Before I go about the rest of my day, I do want to tell you a little bit about the ingredients in this product. Overall, it's a very clean product. The things you may want to watch out for is the fact that it does have dimethicone in it. Dimethicone can clog pores for some people. So if you uh, find foundations with dimethicone to give you skin irritation or clog your pores, definitely stay away from this product. Uh, just so you know, dimethicone is labeled a three on environmental working group. Canada has classified it as expected to be toxic or harmful and is suspected to be an environmental toxin. So the next ingredient is something called PEG 10 dimethicone. It's also a three. There are contamination concerns for this. On EWG, it says it's a derivative of dimethicone containing an average of 10 moles of ethylene oxide. Now, I am not a chemist. I don't even know what 10 moles is or if I'm even saying moles right. Maybe it's mole, like, you know, you know, when like chocolate mole, I don't know. Let me tell you a little bit about this ethylene oxide that there is a small fraction, you know, of this in there. There are ir irritation concerns for it. It's also a known human carcinogen as identified in Canada. It is a banned ingredient in Canada. So we don't know how much of this PEG-10 dimethicone is in the product and we don't know how much that translate into, at least I don't know how much that translates into of this ethylene oxide and how much of that is in the foundation. So it may be a negligible amount that we don't even need to worry about. But again, I don't know that for sure. I'm just trying to let you know what I know and as much as I know. But other than that, that's it as far as this foundation and things that turned up as red flags on environmental working groups. So, so, so I don't feel like that's too terrible. So now that I have presented that information to you, I'm going to take a break from the camera for a minute. Actually, I'm not. I'm gonna film one more video and then I'm gonna take a break from the camera for a bit and we'll come back in a few hours and uh, show you how everything is wearing. I'm not going out today. I'm just gonna be in front of the lights and then I'm going to be kind of wandering around my house for the rest of the day. So we'll see you in a little while. I realized in between check-ins that I never told you what time it was when I was checking in before. I finished putting on my foundation at about 3.30 p.m. I was getting videos up and editing and squashing drama on my Facebook group and all kinds of stuff was delaying the beginning of me putting on makeup today. So about 3.30, I finally finished putting on my foundation. So it is now 10.07 p.m., uh, which means that it has been about six and a half hours since I put on this foundation. I feel like from a distance, it looks really good. I feel like it still looks super full coverage, but when you look at it up close, I feel like it's starting to break down in places, but you really have to be looking close. So let's get all up close so you can see. All up close up in your face. So I feel like there's a little bit of breakdown on my lip right here, which may have been from wiping my mouth from eating. I do feel like that everything else kind of looks the same as it did in the last check-in. My chin seems to have kind of worn off a little bit. And my nose definitely looks patchy. If you notice like right here, it looks like it's got foundation, but then on the tip of my nose, the foundation seems to be gone. Check the corner of my nose. Right there, so you can see how that looks. 
But I feel like I'm just kind of nitpicking at this point. Like, I don't know, am I nitpicking? This is my first foundation review in a really long time. Am I nitpicking on this or is this really not that great? I don't know. Yeah, look it up close. My nose really does look kind of terrible. <laughs> And just, just in case you were wondering, I do have the Colored Rain eyeshadow palette on my eyes. If that video has already gone live, I'll go ahead and put a link to it down below. But yeah, the eyeshadow is looking real good right about now. I can also see if you look at my forehead wrinkles, the foundation is kind of settled into my wrinkles here and also a little into the fine lines there, which I do not like at all. And there's definitely, uh, you can really see those fine lines underneath my eyes. So that's the six and a half hour check-in. I will check in with you guys one more time before I go to bed in about two more hours. And then I'm going to bed because it's late and I need to go to bed. I need to set my bedtime at midnight and I need to be done with that. So we'll check in and we'll see you again around midnight. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So it is now, what time is it? 12, 11 in the morning. And uh, I'm the only one awake. It's pitch black out and I'm tired and my eyes are red. I was just up editing. My Ooh, we're breaking up even more. Uh, it hasn't been that many hours since the last check-in. I think it's only been like two hours since the last check-in, but it's not looking good, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead, go ahead, get up, back up, real close to personal. All right, here we go. My nose still looks horrid. My lipstick's breaking down a little bit. But that's not what this video is about. I got a video coming up on this liquid lipstick eventually. Just not today. I feel like still from a distance you wouldn't be able to tell a whole lot is wrong with my face, but definitely, uh, I don't know, the nose is looking pretty stinking bad. Cheeks don't look so terrible, except for that my pores are just kind of screaming. I don't even have that big of pores, but I feel like it accentuates my pores. I don't know, man. I don't know. I really want to love this foundation, but oh no. Now I was thinking about, it does say on the website that this is a 24 hour foundation. So I've decided in the past five minutes that I am going to sleep in my makeup. I want to see what this looks like in the morning, just out of pure curiosity. And I'm scared. <laughs> I'm a little scared. I think my husband's going to be a little scared to wake up and see my hot mess of a face when, <laughs> when he wakes in the morning my eyeshadow is all my eyeliner is all and my foundation is all half off and I don't know well we'll see but you'll see in a couple of seconds because it's going to be morning in a couple of seconds for you but it's going to be about eight hours for me good day good night I'll see you in a minute bye good morning my friends so it is let's say it is 10 08 in the morning I uh, laid in bed for a little while because, you know, it's Christmas vacation or winter vacation right now. So I laid in bed for a little while and I led a bunch of people into my Facebook group, about 100 people. Made my son some breakfast. I made myself some coffee. I checked the internet and now I am here. So let's check the foundation to see how it did through the night. Now, I do want to let you know I do wear sleep headphones that cross my forehead. I also wear an eye mask. So let's look and see how we're doing here. The foundation is definitely still there. Especially on my right cheek where I use the primer. Because remember I use primer on half my face. So the foundation is definitely more there here than it is over here. It's pretty much washed off, off here. But I do sleep on this side as well. So I think that might have been bad for the foundation too. So it's probably a combination, but there's no way to know. It might just be because I slept more on this side than this side last night, which I know for a fact I did. So honestly, that's probably it. It's probably not even the primer. But I am surprised at how much foundation is left on this side. So we're at 19 hours of wear right now. I think I'm done on the wear test. I don't think I can bear to wear this makeup to lunch with a girlfriend of mine. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna take it off. But before I do, I'm gonna show you up close what it looks like. All right, let's check it out. Okay, so let me just say that I'm wearing the Colored Rain eyeshadow palette. Look how amazing that eyeshadow still looks. I wore an eye mask to bed and my eyeshadow still looks pretty decent. But right here, uh, it's breaking down. 
This cheek was the one I slept on more. This one still doesn't look too terrible. There's the chin and the nose definitely breaking down. I definitely want to make sure that this is an accurate review for you. So I'm going to wear this foundation again today, but I'm going to use less of it. I'm going to use closer to what Marc Jacobs recommends to use the one to three uh, dots of foundation. I'm going to go ahead and take this off and I'm going to re-put this on in a bit and I'll show you what it looks like with this. All right, so we are back for day two of the wear test. Uh, yesterday I piled on a lot of the foundation. Today I used a very little bit. I put one drop on each side. I did find it difficult to get the foundation to move all the way to my forehead. I started on my cheeks and on my nose and it definitely did some coverage on there, but I couldn't really get the product as much on my forehead as I would like. Unlike yesterday where I did use my Coty Airspun over my face, today I did not put any powder on my face. Just trying different ways to wear this. So let me zoom in real close. You can see it's definitely not not very much coverage. You can see a lot of freckles, very different than yesterday. You can see my forehead has very little coverage at all. This is the recommendation for lighter to medium coverage. I do definitely think that it is a lighter coverage, but we're gonna see whether it hangs out today and how it does. So we'll see you in a little while. Ooh, my phone, I gotta show you what time it is. Today I'll actually show you what time it is. It is 12, oh, hold on a minute. My husband's texting me. You don't need to see all that, hold on a minute. It is 12.18, so we'll see you back 12, uh, we'll see you back about six o'clock. Yeah, let's do six o'clock. Let's do a six hour wear test, see where we are, and then I'll show you again before I go to bed. So see you in a minute. All right, my friends, let's check in. See how we're doing here. All right, let's see. So it is 7.04 p.m., I'm a little bit late. Yeah, we just have a little breakdown around the nose, a little bit on the chin, and still a little bit on the tip of the nose as well. So let me go ahead and show you up close. Now that I have my opinion, I'm gonna let you see and share your opinion. So this is the seven hour face. Okay. So you can see like right there, it's breaking down on the nose, breaking down a little bit and the chin. But the cheeks look really good. It definitely doesn't look like it's seeping into my, my wrinkles here as much as it did yesterday with more foundation. Um, and it doesn't look as cakey here either. So definitely less, like they said on the ad for it, you know, direction, they said less is more and I definitely think so. I just wish I could have gotten it to fuller coverage. I don't know, do I need to do this on a third day <laughs> with three dots? I don't know. I, don't know, I feel like it's lasting pretty good. So this is at the seven hour mark, so think typical school or work day. And from a distance, you can't tell that anything's breaking down, but if you look up close, you can definitely see some breaking down on the nose and the chin and around the nose. So if you have oily skin, this may not be the foundation for you. So this is what we're gonna do. It is, like I said, it's 7.07 .07 now, so we'll check back in, I guess. Like another, well, whenever I go to bed. So another around midnight, I guess, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, so another four hours. So 12 hour wear test and see how we're looking. Yeah, let's do it. All right, I'll see you in another four hours. All right, my friends, final check-in of the video. This is it, I'm done. I mean, and this is what it comes down to, is this foundation is insanely expensive. So in order for me to be impressed with it, it better be expensive looking by the end of the night and it's been 12 hours all right and it's and i have to be completely honest it's very rare that any foundation will look good after 12 hours of wear this foundation does claim to have up to 24 hours of wear so i'm just going to show you first what my face looks like and let you decide what you think and then i'll tell you what i think so here's the close-up Get the wrinkles. Gotta check out those wrinkles up close and personal. And the hair between my eyes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hashtag no filter. <laughs> okay, so this is what I'm thinking. All right, now I did put on the light to medium amount of coverage and I feel like my cheeks still look pretty good 
as far as that lighter coverage, especially my right cheek where I have the foundation primer. Now, I have not slept at all like I did with the more fuller coverage amount of foundation, so it's definitely not due to me pressing on one side more than another. The primer side definitely looks better. And I did use that Too Faced Hangover RX or Hangover Primer on my face. So that just goes to show that it does make a difference because this side is definitely more faded than this side. I feel like it's completely gone from here, uh, which might be due to wiping my mouth after eating, things like that. I feel like the bridge of my nose, it's completely gone. I feel like it's caking up in between my brows, caking up a little bit on my forehead. So, I mean, at this point, is it a good foundation? Yeah, it's a good foundation. Is it a $73 an ounce foundation? Nope. Not for me, at least. If you've had a great experience with this foundation, I would love to know about it in the comments down below because, to be honest with you, foundation, concealer, mascara, a lot of those things really are unique to the individual. Everybody's amount of oil production is different. Uh, sun exposure, wind exposure, sweating amount. I mean, there's so many factors that cannot be controlled and that may apply to me but may not apply to you. That's one of the reasons why I don't do foundation reviews a lot, but I did want to give you my personal experience with this foundation so that maybe you can apply something from my experience to you so that maybe you can make a judgment about whether this foundation is right for you or not. It's a very hyped up foundation on YouTube and I, I really felt like I just wanted to give you more information about it. So now you can do with it what you will. Again, if you love this foundation, I would love to know in the comments below. If you hate this foundation, I would love to know about in the comments below. Let's see if we can find some kind of common ground in the collective brain of makeup awesomeness to know who this foundation works for. Uh, for me, it's just okay. Uh, I definitely would recommend using it with a primer, uh, but you know, it's. I don't think that it's worth the price point. If this were a drugstore foundation, I would be very, very impressed, uh, but at the price point, I'm not as impressed as I wish that I was. So I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, this is my first time doing a foundation review in a long time, so I'd love your feedback down below. Thank you so much for watching. Mad love, and I'll see you in a video soon. Bye!